Ever wondered why Jesus' last command to his committed followers was to make disciples of all nations? Have you ever wondered what it would look like if Christ's most committed followers today actually carried forth that command according to the standards set forth in the New Testament by Christ in the Twelve? If an evangelist were to reach a thousand people a day for Christ in a frozen population rate, can you imagine how long it would take to reach the world for Jesus Christ? Just over 15,000 years. And imagine the spiritual maturity of these new converts, most of whom receive no real follow-up or discipleship and end up never reaching their full potential in Christ. However, if a committed follower of Christ, we'll call him Paul, were to disciple a new believer for one year, we'll call him Timothy. To the extent that Timothy matures in Christ until he is able to disciple another, for as Luke 6.40 says, the student will become like his teacher. So then, in year two, Timothy has become a discipler himself and takes on his first student while Paul takes on another student. By the third year, our Paul is discipling his third student while our Timothy is discipling his second student and our newest student is now able to make disciples as well. If the cycle is not broken, a spiritual downline is created which multiplies to the ends of the earth. Even at an accurate and growing population rate, do you know how long it would take in such a scenario to reach the entire world for Jesus Christ? Just under 37 years. And now imagine the spiritual maturity of these believers, all of whom have been equipped to both be and to make disciples of Jesus Christ. This is why Christ's last command to his followers is not to make converts, but to make disciples of all nations.